In this carpentry workshop, hands-on is the rule for Ursula Maya and her daughter Zara. They even personally select the veneer for every piece of furniture. They examine the patterns made by the tree rings and the grain of the wood. It's the curiosity, the desire to be a pioneer, to take a lead with all these carpenters and joiners looking for new possibilities. What does the future have in store? What do customers want and how can we engage them emotionally? The pieces of veneer are joined using a hot melt adhesive. The company specializes in designs with wood paneling. It has 32 employees and she is the boss. Zara Maya has been running the family business for five years. When she took over from her mother, she took a number of steps to modernize the company. She got rid of holiday and Christmas pay and introduced a system of profit sharing instead. I'm accepted differently as a woman than if I were a man. Plus, I don't act like I know everything better. I never trained to be a carpenter. I studied architecture and economics. I have respect for what the people here do, and sometimes I have to ask questions like, why are we doing it this way? Every piece is custom made and unique. The veneer on this stereo cabinet is made of apple wood with patterns of heartwood. This is one of a kind because the tree is absolutely unique. Even we've never seen anything like it. The remarkable cabinet will sell for several thousand euros. Zara is in charge of the figures. The company has annual sales of three million euros. Zara's mother, Ursula, who headed the firm for 27 years, is now responsible for design. It's clear what role each of us plays. Now that I've turned the company over to my daughter, I'm artistic advisor to her and the company. I love being able to concentrate on my passion. And now I'm much happier going to work every day. Ursula was 30 years old when she took over the helm from her father. Her daughter Zara was 28 when she became managing director. The company was established in 1910 by Zara's great-grandfather. He turned the business over to his son, who traveled the world. He invented a number of woodworking machines in collaboration with his colleagues and took out 70 patents. Mark Gruningen is a small town near Stuttgart. It was a flourishing community as far back as the 15th century. It's a fitting location for the Myers company. We have a very strong tradition of craftsmanship here in Württemberg. We have the best vocational training, and we always strive to influence development through competitions. And we work together with many other very strong craft enterprises here. This wealthy region is home to three million people. One of the reasons the Myers say they would never move away.